What's going on guys? My name is Zanaviz and today we're going to be continuing our little quest, not quest, but our little video because in the last video I showed you guys that we got something very, very, very special, very cool and something I've been wanting in this game ever since I had found out it existed. Uh, so if you didn't get to see that I'll leave a link below in the description so you guys can go check it out but for now you, you all are probably wondering why I'm staring at the ocean and the beach well it's because it's sort of got something to do with what we're gonna be doing or at least the first thing that we're gonna be doing and it's gonna be a drag race at the beach right now y'all are probably y'all are probably wondering, oh well, what car does he have? What truck does he have? What, right? Well, if I could figure this maze out over here, I bought this castle by the way. It's a very lovely castle. Y'all wondering what we're gonna use? Oh, y'all already saw it. Let's do a little, little peekaboo, peekaboo. Right? The amazing 6x6 Mercedes AMG. This truck has earth fitted with six exhausts tuned by, by AMG. You have six wheels. You have, oh shoot, you have your awesome lights at the top. Your lovely Mercedes logo. You have the awesome bars back here. I really love the way these are. Like the way they're located. Six by six. Right there. On the on the thing. AMG G63. This is the 2014 model. Now I didn't even know this thing existed up until 2015. When it came out in Grand Theft Auto 5. As a dubsta six by six. And ever since then I've been in love with this thing. Um, but yeah, right now, what I want to do, this, and this is, like I said, I've been waiting for it for the longest time, and I'm so excited to drive it. I mean, look at this. It sounds so amazing. If you guys don't know where this is from, uh, this model is actually from Top Gear. And... In the last video, I showed you guys, or I went through the entire Top Gear chapter story thing. 21 out of 21 stars, full on. Uh, we finished it. It took us like an hour to do the whole thing. But yeah, right now, let's actually go. I want to see how fast this thing is. Or like with the tailgate down. Start the race. I'm going against a Lamborghini and Jeep Willys and a Ram. Oh, whoops. The shift is horrible. That freaking Willys is going so fast. Oh, there's a Ford Bronco up there. And it's AR-12 Nick, apparently. That's the guy right there, AR-12 Nick. Uh, that I've been watching videos on for like the longest time. And right after fifth gear is everybody just starts passing you so not the fastest but definitely definitely the most expensive and the coolest out of every single one of these uh, cars and trucks or vehicles in general so now what I want to do is I want to go take it to the I want to take it back to my castle my lovely expensive super hardcore cas castle right up there look at it with a beach view and we're gonna see what type of upgrades we can fit in this thing. In this huge, enormous truck. Anyways, let's get back into this. Let's upgrade this Mercedes 6x6. Let's go all the way over here to conversion, see what we can do. We have Star Powertrain, which makes 536 horsepower, 560 foot pounds of torque. This thing weighs 9,050 pounds. That's insane. That is insane. That's absolutely ridiculous. 
Uh, we can sw swap a 5.5 liter V8 twin turbo engine in here. It only adds like, what is that? Oh, it says on the bottom. My, oh, I'm so tired, guys. It adds 41 horsepower. I was trying to do the math by myself, like what's 577 minus 536. The answer is right there on the bottom. It says power plus 41. And then you have your standard racing uh, 7.2 V8 that you can stick into basically any freaking muscle car in this game. So we're not going to mess with those uh, conversions. We'll get to this later. Let's see how much horsepower we can take out of this thing. So we have race intake. Uh, 10. What are these? Oh, fuel system. Your ignition. Your exhaust. This is all pretty standard stuff. You have your camshafts. Um, what are these? Valves? I thought they were something else. You have your block. Pistons. Turbos, 114, your intercoolers, let's go over here to oil, cooling, and then your flywheel. This is all you can do on, on the stock, um, stock engine. My god, I can't even talk. So, with all that, we are putting out 892 horsepower with 821 foot-pounds of torque, and we weigh 18 pounds more than we did unfortunately and now we just like we weigh I don't know how many pounds less what the heck Spring rally am I crazy or is it lowering the back we can adjust it later if I if we want to let's just stick all this stuff in my launch is at 10 that's that's crazy we can make them bigger. Holy shoot. We can put 355s on the front. Uh, I don't know about that. but Okay, so it does upgrade the ones in the mid also. You see that? See? Oh, wait. There. I don't want a lot of tires, so I'm going to put... I'm just going to go up one notch at 325 on all sides because... This thing doesn't even, I don't think it'll make a lot of power to uh, spin up its wheels either way. What looks natural? Does that look natural or just like, I feel like 19s look natural. 19s look better. You cannot add anything to this. Oh, well, that ruins me. That ruins everything for me. See what type of crazy crap we can do over here. Oh, if I see people in the online lobby with a freaking 6x6 six six and this on it, I'm just, I'm leaving the lobby. Like, I don't want to be with you guys. Like, I'm, I'm sorry. This would irritate the flying fuzz out of me if you guys did this. This truck is not for this. It's, it's not meant to house freaking what do you call it Baja cage and everything in the back no the spare wheel on these things is actually supposed to be right there in the bed where those little uh, silver clip things are that's where the spare wheel is supposed to be housed uh, in this 6x6 so please don't do that please don't put Baja uh, those on it Baja bars Baja spare wheels. Let's install the setup. Like I said, 800. We weigh 6,698 pounds. We weigh. So what? 2,000. Like I said, 2,200 pounds. Lighter. I kind of like copper also. Copper looks really good. I think I'm going to do copper semi gloss. Or should I do this one? No. That's too much. I like this one. Hood. You can change your hood. I think I might do black, honestly. That looks pretty good. Or I might do the carbon fiber because like the carbon fiber is on the on the wheel wells also. So let's go to Is it this one? It's this one. Let's do the carbon fiber. Wing mirrors. Uh carbon fiber as well. I wanna tune the gears. And I was thinking right now also, like, there's three different axles meaning i 
think there's three differentials. If there's three different, can we tune the differentials? Like that's what I started thinking right now. When I started thinking about tuning gears. Uh, fun fact about these things, they have portal axles, meaning the the axle itself sits a bit higher in the tire than a regular axle would and it works a bit different uh but it's still it's uh it's made for more clearance more more clearance that's why it seems taller but it really isn't that tall it's pretty tall though dude this thing launches i think once i hit fifth or they're gonna like start pulling like crazy Oh look, there's an EAT right there. I'm doing 140. 146. Oh, they're pulling. They're pulling. 156 miles an hour across the line in a stock engine. 20 seconds. Can it do a boosted launch? That is a good question. That's a very good question. Let's go. Yes, it can. It can do a boosted launch. I'm going to boost it at... 5,000? Oh shoot. Well, that's a lot. Okay. There. You know, I'm gonna leave it right there. Uh, 20 pounds of boost. 286 horse... 286 horsepower? What? No, 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 no. So I can only launch with 395 horsepower. That's, that's trash. Well, let's see how fast this thing can go. We're fifth gear at 120. And a stupid Colorado comes in my way. We'll do this. Oh, we're gaining speed now. 166 gear. Holy shoot, this thing turns. Oh my goodness. 174, 175, 76, 77, 80, 384, 85, 86, 87, 88. Oh my god, stupid raptor. Can we hit 190 miles an hour? Probably not. 89? 190? 191? Okay, no. It likes to sit at 100, 190 miles an hour. If I could get this thing to 200, I would be very impressed with myself. From 17.4 all the way to 24 or 8. So it's like 7.4 inches of lift. Apply, of course. Let's go here. Boom. Okay. go will it go faster or slower that is the real number hundred dollar question right there. 161 and six here oh my goodness it didn't want to turn I cannot with the traffic in this game. 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 90, 90. There we go. Okay, it will not go to 191. Let's see the interior, see the engine, see. Hopefully, we can lift the hood. I hope. Let's do this. I see an EAT. Right there, right in front of me. Oh 
Holy shoot. Is that a Mini Cooper? Oh, we're not gonna lose to a Mini Cooper, no. Oh, we almost tipped over. Stupid Ram, what are you doing? Why are you like... You wanna go, dude? Freaking get wrecked. We're losing to a Mini Cooper. I cannot believe this. Okay. The turning radius on this thing is uh, as expected. It's not going to turn very sharp. I had to like e-brake that because there's no possible way for this thing to turn like that. We need to cap catch up to this freaking mini, mini up here. I think we're catching up. Well, we were catching up and then we messed up on the little drift there. I'm not drifting on purpose, guys. I like, I need to do it so that it'll t turn in the direction that I want it to go. Because this thing does not turn very well. Oh, it'll, it'll freaking stop on a dime though. For the size that it is, it stops really fast. Especially going downhill on a dirt road. That's insane. Can we send one up the inside? Oh, oh, come on. I didn't mean to hit him. <sighs> it always gets me. I always flip over on that little part. We're first, which is good. A little drift. I honestly don't even think you need to like counter steer your drift because it just straight straightened itself out. Look, I didn't even touch the steering. Oh, okay, that one was a little, a little sloppy, a little messy. This Mini Cooper is really on my nerves right now. And we take home the first place. Look, those things right there, in the last video I told you, there's tanks on each, under each wheel well inside, or like in the wheel wells of the tires, or where the tires located. And this is what you can do. These little buttons up there, like the ones with the yellow buttons with the with the dials. You can change the air pressure manually through there. Like you don't even have to get off and stick a hose into it. You just you click the button right there, click the button over there, and you're good. Do not ask me how it works. I have absolutely zero clue. Look at the luxury in this thing though. I want one so bad. All right, let's get out. I see the back of it. I can stand up tall. Boom. Okay, look. Look at this. See that? That's where the wheel is supposed to go. Do not put Baja freaking bars on this. I swear. Don't do it. I can open this one too. Okay, what is this? Open this one. Oh, wait. Can we go to the hood? <gasps> we can look at the hood. Boom, look at it, look at it, look at it. Boom. That looks so cool and detailed. Can I like look for further? It's like signed or something. I wish I could like look closer at it. The amount of detail that goes into these things in the game it's just it's crazy you can see like like the writing on the side right here look there's like a little yellow thing right there and you can see the the writing you can see it down here too on the bottom that's cool i didn't know it went that far can i look at the the seat does it say amg on the seat 
I don't know what that says. I want to see the black now. Let's go over here. Oh, get in. There we go. Hey, we have little, little TV screens right here. Dang, look at this. Look at how much leg room you have. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you know people say you're crazy for wanting one of these. Dude, you're not crazy at all, dude. It's like, dream big and make it happen, honestly. Before I die, I will own one of these. And I will drive it proudly. Everywhere. Well, guys, there is uh, there's the walk around tour and uh, like little races of how fast it is, whatever. But here's your your little walk around tour of the Mercedes AMG 6x6. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said before, subscribe, like, share uh, if you enjoyed the video. Comment down below what your favorite part of the video was and. If you would want one of these things in real life, or if you think they're ugly, I know I know some people think they're ugly. I think like I think I know some people who think it's ugly, and I'm just I like turn them down. I'm like, dude, just don't even talk to me anymore. But uh, let me know down in the comments, see what you think about it. Uh, be sure to follow my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All are gonna be linked down in the in the description below. So go follow that. Go follow. I post more on Instagram than I do on anything else. So just uh, follow my Instagram, and you'll be you'll be sort of notified as to what I posted latest, as to what I'm doing, or as to if you want to see Kalehu more. There's a post on there. Go like that photo if you want more. Uh, if you want more pictures of Kalehu than you do of anything else, then I will. Then I will post more pictures of Kalehu. But other than that, guys, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will see you guys in the next one.